It's my feel good breakfast show. Oh, yes, I'm Zadzi. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. As I'm sure you have heard, we are getting inspired for the races. Yeah, race day is almost upon us. It's this weekend, and the World Sports Betting Met is officially here. Yes, and it's time to look forward to the amazing fashion and entertainment, but it's also all about the horse racing and those that get to experience the exhilarating pace of these majestic beings out on the track. So, here to chat to us about the races and the Met is jockey Aldo Domea, as well as Cape Racing representative. Of Brandon Bailey in the building. Gentlemen, how are we doing this morning? Great, nice to be here. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure having you here. Just a part of all this excitement that's happening for this historic event. Brandon, maybe I can take it to you firstly. A lot of prep, I'm sure, has been going into this event. I'm sure it started years ago, to be, to be honest. But uh, with all the, the expertise that you guys have, with all the magic that's been put into here, are you happy with the way things are looking? Are you feeling ready for tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, definitely a lot of uh, work's gone in behind the scenes. Um, obviously, the newly revamped Kenilworth, uh, it's, it's a must for everybody. Mm. Uh, there's so much going on at the moment. Um, this is one of our premier race days, if not the premier race day in the Western Cape. So it's all systems go. All systems are going. It looks like everybody out here in the studio is absolutely salivating at this experience. I can't wait for tomorrow. Although, obviously, uh, someone with a pedigree of experience, this is, this is your lifestyle, man. This is what you live for. And I must say congratulations coming back from an incredible win at the King's Plate with uh, Charles Dickens as well. Well yeah, done. Yeah. Firstly, let's put our hands together for this, man. <laughs> Another title in the bag. It just keeps coming, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's been a good run. Uh, mm. Managed to come across a champion and uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime sort of superstar that I managed to um, come across and yeah, it's been phenomenal. He's obviously retired to stud now because of his ex exceptional career, so mm. unfortunately we'll be seeing him tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, 100%, he's earned it and uh, he's on his way to uh, reproduce now. Oh, exciting stuff, so maybe some more pedigrees uh, to yeah, come. Yeah, but uh, continue the legacy. I mean, he was a really phenomenal sort of horse and uh, Honored that uh, he was parted by, by the Ruperts, and um, yeah, I think he's going to do great things for the rest of his life. Yeah, and um, on top of that, it's not just uh, Charles we're talking about now, but there's many horses that we can look forward to uh, tomorrow. Obviously, it's a, 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 a collection of pedigrees that'll be uh, running around the track, right? Yeah, no, 100%. Um, he's obviously beaten a horse that is a champion upon himself, uh, or who's becoming a champion, who is a champion in his own right, and uh, he's running over his prime distance, and he's the favorite for the Met tomorrow. He's see it again, and he's a really potent sort of horse over the specific distance, so he specializes over that trip and uh, be quite exciting to see what happens. I think there's one or two dark horses that um, it's going to run big races, so everything's at big prices because the favorite's so short, so mm. at least so exciting races and everyone's going to be looking for a dark horse and everyone wants big price horses, so yeah, I think the public's got lots to look forward to tomorrow. Win a winner, chicken dinner, everyone's looking for that big payout. <laughs> now listen, for those that are maybe not aware at all about what's going on when it comes to the Met, the big races, and especially the jockeys that are riding these incredible beasts, what's the vibe with like the colors and what's being represented? Are you riding for their teams? Are they riding for themselves? How does it all work? And what do these colors represent that the jockeys all seem to be wearing? Well, basically, I think the colors are basically re representation of, of, of the owner. Okay. And it's basically a brand of their own. And, and I think everyone uniquely kind of puts something together that they feel like they can be represented by. And it's like McLaren and Ferrari. You're basically going out there, and if you chose a specific set of colors, I'm now representing your brand, and you proudly watch, obviously, your investment uh. unfold. And I think the colors are bright, and for you to see it unfold that last two, 300 meters, it brings about that excitement, because that's basically you being represented in, and, and embodied in, in, in a thoroughbred form. So uh, all the colors are different, but everyone's got their own specific design, and we basically just executed yeah. in fashion. And, and look at the visuals now. I can see why these colors are so valuable. I mean, the speed, the power, how mixed up everything can become. You need to see what's going on. Those colors can definitely help. Listen, gents, this is obviously an historic occasion. I mean, for the best part of when I've grown up, I've been hearing about this incredible day and looking forward to one day going there myself. Why do you think it's so important? Let's say not only for the racing community, but also just the community in general. And I mean, anything sort of historical that you can share that just makes this such a momentous occasion? Yeah, well, I think from my side, I don't think it's only the racing. I think there's so much fashion on show. I mean, the food stalls, it'll all be there. 
Um, there's so much for everybody. I mean, we must make it known that it's, there's no under 18s uh, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot more than just the racing uh, to it. There's the fashion, there's the food, and just a good day out with uh, friends. Uh, I'm not going to say family because I don't think you'll be able to bring your little ones. Aldo's got a good few of those. <laughs> um, but uh, it's going to be an awesome day, and uh, I highly encourage everybody that's watching this to come and join us. Oh, lekker stuff. Yeah, definitely. I think it's, it's a race that comes about from so much heritage. I think the first race was run in the 1800s. Jeez, yeah. As far back as that, when the Cape Garrison soldiers used to race one another and everyone used to come in the finest attire and that heritage just stooped across to what we know it today, you know? And uh, I think um, when something dates back as far as that, it, it res results in, a, in, in something like this. And I think the most beautiful part of it is like, like we know in South Africa, nothing brings people together better than sport and unity. Mm. And uh, it's one of those days that you can just sit back and watch uh, how all different sort of cultures come together and just respect one another. And it's a crazy buzz, but everything comes together in this beautiful harmony. And it's like watching the Northern Lights almost personify. <laughs> and, uh, in, in that insanity, there's so much peace, and but the air is electric. It's yeah. this one day everyone's together and watching everyone in that sort of harmony, getting along with a common goal just to enjoy and respect one another, that's insane. It's, it's something we look forward to all the time, and uh, Kennewitz becomes the buzz. And the, the, like he says, the new revamp Kennewitz, it's a, it's a must-see. It's, it's going to become something I think everyone's going to want to do at some stage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from them yourself, and I cannot wait uh, any longer. We've just got a few more hours before race day begins. But, gentlemen, thank you so much again for coming through and getting us even more excited for this uh, big day. We'll see you tomorrow. Mzanji, the question is, will we see you tomorrow? If not, then what are you doing with your life? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of inspo still to come when it comes to the Mets, so don't go anywhere, Mzanzi. We'll catch up with you in a bit.